What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Bootcamp. In this video, we are going to talk about the fighter, Leo Mord. Leo Mord has crowd control, buff, slow, dash, and skills that slow down enemies. Our Hell Knight, Leo Mord, is a fighter hero. I consider Leo Mord as an offensive fighter, since his ultimate skill makes him deal cleaving damage. Not only that, he is really mobile because of his dash skills. He also gains additional movement speed when mounted to Barbiel, his horse. In addition, Leo Mord has a different set of skills when he is mounted to Barbio. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Leo Mord based on my experience. I will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this bootcamp. But before that, let me explain his skills one by one for further understanding. Leo Mord's passive, the Oath Keeper, grants Leo Mord critical hits on his basic attacks. His passive is activated when the target has health lower than a certain amount. First, let's talk about his skills when he is not mounted to Barbio. Leo Mord's first skill, Momentum, makes Leo Mord charge his attack. During charging, he gains a certain amount of shield. The enemies on the designated area will have their movement speed reduced. Not only that, the longer Leo Mord charges this skill, the higher its damage. Any actions that may interrupt him on charging this skill will automatically trigger the attack. You can also manually interrupt the charging by clicking on the skill icon again. So make sure to decide quickly on whether you need to complete or stop the charging during team fights. His second skill, Decimation Assault, lets him dash towards a designated location. Enemies near his path and his destination will receive a certain amount of damage. In addition, the enemies hit have their movement speed reduced. To save you from the Killing spree. Leo Mord's ultimate skill, Phantom Steed, calls for Barbiel from a designated path. Upon casting, Barbiel's direction is towards Leo Mord on a straight path. Barbiel rushes into the battlefield and knock back all enemies on its path. Barbiel deals a certain amount of physical damage to enemies along his path. The enemies hit also have their movement speed reduced. If Barbiel comes in contact with Leo Mord, Leo Mord will be mounted to Barbiel. While on this state, Leo Mord gains a new set of skills. Leo Mord's basic attack will now deal damage to a circular area around him, even while moving. In addition, Leo Mord has his movement speed boosted. He also gains additional physical and magic defense while mounted. The duration meter of this skill is indicated on the skills icon. Now, let's talk about his skills when he is mounted to Barbio. Leo Mord's first skill, Phantom Stomp, lets Barbio leap forward. Barbio will deal a certain amount of physical damage to the enemy units in the area of landing. Not only that, the enemies hit also have their movement speed reduced. Leo Mord's second skill, Phantom Charge, lets Barbiel charge forward. Enemies along Barbiel's path are knocked back toward Barbiel's destination. Not only that, enemies hit are also dealt a certain amount of physical damage. Launch Leo Mord's ultimate skill while mounted is not clickable and is just an indicator meter for the mounted duration. There are so many items that you can buy for Leo Mord. You can either focus on damage items or items that gives you higher ability. For me, I choose to buy items that grants attack speed, lifesteal, and damage. In my opinion, you can consider buying Swift Boots for Leo Mord. Swift Boots grant some additional attack speed and movement speed. Having additional attack speed will make Leo Mord attack more. This will let you deal lots of attacks in combo with your cleaving attacks while mounted and your passive skill. Buying attack items, such as Berserker's Fury can boost your damage effectively. This item gives you additional physical attack and critical chance. 
Its unique passive grants you additional critical damage on your critical hits. Also, dealing critical hits will increase your physical attack by a certain amount for a short period of time. This is a great combo with your passive, since you are sure to deal critical hits when enemy's health is below a certain amount. Buying attack items, such as Demon Hunter Sword can boost your damage massively. This item gives you additional physical attack and attack speed. Its unique passive deals a percentage of the target's current HP as additional physical damage. Again, attack speed will let you deal more damage while mounted to Barbiel. You might want to consider Blade of Despair. This item grants additional physical attack and movement speed. Its unique passive will give you additional physical attack when the target's health is below a certain percentage. This is a great combo with your passive skill since you can deal more damage with this. The movement speed bonus can also help you chase enemies or escape death. You might also want to consider Wind Talker. This item grants you additional attack speed, movement speed, and critical chance. Its unique passive deals magic damage to three enemies upon dealing basic attacks. This unique passive has a cooldown which depends on your critical chance. The magic damage dealt is also dependent on the attack speed you have. Since we are building items with attack speed and critical chance, this item can certainly deal massive damage especially while mounted to Barbiel. Buying defense items, such as Wings of the Apocalypse Queen should be also considered. This item increases his physical attack, health points, and cooldown reduction. Its unique passive reduces the damage taken by 50% when your health is less than 40%, and increases your life steal by 30%. The unique passive of this item, along with his ultimate skill, will reduce a lot of the enemy's damage. The effect lasts for a few seconds. This effect has a cooldown of almost a minute. I can also suggest items, such as Corrosion Scythe to slow down your target. This grants additional physical attack, movement speed, and attack speed. Each basic attack to an enemy gives you a 50% chance on slowing them by 40%. It also grants additional 8% attack speed per hit which stacks up to 5 times. This is pretty good with your ultimate skill since you can slow down many enemies with it. This is also helpful in terms of chasing enemies down while mounted. Corrosion side is optional because your skills deal movement speed reduction already. As for the ultimate item that I can suggest, you should consider Hoss's Claws. This item grants you life steal and additional physical attack. Its unique passive will grant you extra life steal when your health point reaches a certain point. This item is what will help you survive inside teamfight, because your attack is cleaving while mounted to Barbiel. The item build for Leo Mord really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt in game. One of the best spells to be used on Leo Mord is Petrify. Being on the middle of the team fight as a fighter. He can use this to disable enemies for a few moments. This can be used to disable enemies. Making them be stomped to death by Barbiel. Petrify also deals a small amount of damage. You can also use Inspire to gain additional attack speed. More attack speed means you can deal lots of basic attack when you are mounted to Barbiel. Given that your basic attacks during mounted are dealt in a circular area around you. Inspire will help you deal lots of damage to all the enemies inside the team fight. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Assassin Emblem set. Custom Assassin Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a fighter. Set agility to its max level because it can give you extra move speed. Higher move speed will give you higher mobility to either escape or chase enemies. Setting invasion to max level will provide additional physical penetration to your physical damage. Higher physical penetration deals more physical damage to enemies. That means, your skills and basic attacks will be more explosive during team fights. Get bounty hunter to gain extra gold upon killing an enemy. Leo Mord can basically kill easily with his skills. With Bounty Hunter, he can easily gain additional gold. For me, it's the best thing to get since Leo Mord can kill enemies easily which will make him richer. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the base damage higher and the cooldown faster. That means, you can deal more damage with this skill. Prioritize second skill less since his first skill is what you need for damage dealing. Always upgrade his ultimate skill when available for upgrading. With Leo Mord, jungling on the new meta won't be a challenge. When jungling with Leo Mord, I deal either basic attack or first skill first. This way, I can gain a shield to protect me from these buffed predators. We all know that these jungle predators were buffed on this meta. 
Your first skill slows an enemy down. You can use it to slow down enemies and escape death. Or you can use it to slow down enemies and chase them to death. With the shield granted, you still have the chance to survive fatal moments. I usually follow a combo when Leo Mord is unmounted. First, I dash towards the enemy using second skill. This will deal damage and will also reduce the enemy's movement speed. Then, I deal some basic attacks. I didn't use my first skill as soon as possible because I was waiting for the enemy to use skills. As I've mentioned earlier, using first skill will give you a shield. I tried timing the shield with his skills. But on this scenario, I failed on timing it. But I know you guys can use the shield on the right timing, I believe in you guys. Then, I just deal basic attacks since my passive skill will now activate. While dealing basic attacks, I used Petrify to disable the enemy. This will let me deal basic attacks without worrying about the enemy's next action. In terms of team fights, I usually follow a combo for Leo Mord. First, I summon the Barbiel. The Horsey Horsey. Barbiel will deal damage upon rampaging through enemies. Then, I make sure to meet Barbiel halfway. You can use your second skill to dash towards Barbiel. I was just not able to do it on this scenario since I used before summoning Barbiel. Then, on this scenario, I decided to use my second skill to push the enemies away. I pushed them away and gathered them together so my cleaving damage will wrath upon them. Then, I used my first skill to stomp on the enemies. This will deal damage and also slow them down. Since my skills are on cooldown, my only choice was to deal basic attacks. I forgot to use my regeneration skill here since I was not programmed to do so. So always remember to use regeneration skill in times of danger. Leo Mord's specialty is reducing the enemy's movement speed. Almost all of his skills grants movement speed reduction to enemies. You can use your first and second skill, either mounted or not, to deal a combo to reduce enemy's movement speed. When using your ultimate, make sure to be inside the team fight. Always remember that while mounted, your basic attacks will deal damage in a circular area around you. Items with life steal will definitely help you survive the chaos inside the team fight. With life steal and attack speed items, this will make Leo more durable during team fights. You can take down even against three enemies as long as they do not disable you hard. Along with inspire or petrify, this will greatly give you lots of regenerated health points from basic attacks. Additional tip, you can use your ultimate to escape death, thanks Captain Obvious. Leo Mord is blessed with lots of movement, reduction and dash skills. So use these skills in your favor to either chase enemies or escape death. Tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Leo Mord. This video just guides you on how to use Leo Mord the Kurumi way. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Leo Mord. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to my channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events, check out the featured video on our channel for the mechanics. See you on the next Mobile Legends Bootcamp. Cheers!